don't worry, Santa. I got the cookies. It's Beth with Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. I know there's music in the background, but I had to tell you that I am in Rosenberg, Texas. So Discover Downtown Rosenberg, Texas is hosting an event where you are shopping all of the vendors and it's a cookie walk. When you go in, you get a little passport and when you check into that store, you get a cookie, y'all. So let's see what we can find in downtown Rosenberg, Texas. It is about 50 degrees outside and raining, but here's my cookie walk passport. It says, visit these Cookie Walk participants for a sweet treats, sales, and specials. And if you visit, like, I think she said 15, then you can be entered into a drawing. They even have a map and the participants, so this should be fun. Let's go in and see what I can find. I'm be able to film in each one of the stores, but I may be able to show you what I get afterwards. So stay tuned because there will be a haul. If this does not remind us of Kim from Oh My Vintage, it is beautiful. So, Mr. Peanuts. Gosh, oh, I so had one of these. It's $18. I had that, y'all. And look at this one. hand-painted and it's got that luster that iridescence on it that is absolutely beautiful these perfume bottles oh my gosh they're so pretty hey angel and melissa there is a fisher price farm and it has the fence and the tractor katie this is the first time i'm ever finding a typewriter ribbon. I have one of these at my house right now. I got it full of sewing notions. A good one. Now I've never seen pink dragon wear before. That is absolutely beautiful. And look at this fabulous purse and the gloves. Isn't that beautiful? Reminds me of Catherine Young. Look at that cute tray. Oh my gosh, y'all, look how cute this dog is. So stinking cute. Y'all, why is he so cute? Why is his eyes so big? I can't read his tag. Hmm. Is this treasure craft? Have I now found the first piece of treasure craft I've ever seen in the wild? It absolutely is. Yay me. Check it off my must find list in the wild. There you go, George. These are some angry dog bookends. Why so angry? You don't like to read really like that little tin, especially for it looks like this is called Roots and Relics, Antiques and Garden. I know it's festive, so it's pretty loud in here, so I'll have to constantly talk. But look at all of this Televera, y'all. These little Televera birds are so cute. I really thought this little figurine was super cute. I looked and looked for a 
price tag, but I never did find one. She was in beautiful shape, loved her little poodle dog on the leash. Probably would have picked her up, but I couldn't find a price. Oh, Lord, hold on. There you go, little doggy. Okay, y'all, so that one had a lot of beautiful furniture in it, and you know furniture is my jam. So I had to look at that one very closely, and they also had um, a little section of snacks, like relishes and dips and stuff like that. Hmm, I might have to go back there just to get a snack or two to take home to Lovey. I can just show you all of these stores, our little antique shops. So I got a lot of ground to cover. Today. Antiques, Jay and Barb's Antiques. Let's see. Cookie walk. Now the music in this store was loud as well. So I'm going to just do a little bit of voiceover. This was impressive to say the least. They had so many rooms filled with wonderful goodies, just all different kinds of things. You've got old telephones, toys, you saw all that uranium glass, holy cow, that was amazing. And one thing that I learned, whoop, there goes the camera, from the recording of this while shopping is, I should have left my purse in the car. Oh, I love that. This little room was full of things, um, and again, I struggled with my purse and the bags from all the things that I was buying. I'm thinking about getting these and then making some assemblages with them. What do you think? They're four dollars each. Okay, Katie girl, this one is for you. Take it all in. There's, oh look, there's John's outfit back there. All of this Coca-Cola goodness. And in the corner over here, is this a Rushton Santa? I'll have to look. Okay, so I couldn't look because it's in a locked case. But then there's that. I might have to get them to unlock this for me so that I can look at some stuff. There's more. It's like a Coca-Cola village. Oh, here's some. Like down in here, there's some like ice cream things. Look at this banana split, y'all. Um, look, I could go for banana split. Love those. Okay, y'all, so I'll be doing a shop along in there. They had like nine rooms of goodies and I bought myself something. So again, I might have to boot, do two videos and put the haul at the end of this one. So I'm not sure because I still have a lot of ground. The shop is called Barn Door. Um, we'll go in and see what they have. The most exciting part is I have gotten permission to video in several of these stores so that's exciting well this is a great idea for show awesome a little art glass red butter
I recognize this little cross stitch picture right here. My grandmother actually did this cross stitch pattern and I have it framed in my house. And I think this is the first time that I've ever found slag glass out in the wild. I've heard a lot about it, especially from Nate, from Soul Nate. Um, but these were little frozen Charlottes, I believe, uh, that were in slag glass. But I find slag glass somewhere else on my walk today. But those were pretty cool. And these little purses, y'all, they were too cute. Now, a little difficult to open with just one hand while you're filming, but I did finally get this one open. It was a great little purse in great condition too. And then I also found this little beaded purse. The best thing about this one is that when I finally do get it open, it has a little matching mirror inside. Wasn't bad for a collector price but not a lot of room for resale. And if you cannot tell, I am infatuated with the wooden spools, y'all. I actually had two and they sold. I really didn't want to sell them, but they kind of sold by mistake. So now that I see them everywhere, I just am dying to start maybe a collection of them. I don't know. Just some of the old world charm down here. And look what I see right over there, y'all. Now y'all know I'm going in there, right? So y'all look how cute this is. And I'm in line for cookies. Absolutely. Now you gotta you gotta choose from because my gingerbread all have different personalities. So I'm gonna pull them out for you to show you the uh, personalities here. Which ones do you need? Um. Man. I'm telling you, look at you now. All right, so we got 60 plus five and we have one group. Okay, this looks like oatmeal raisin. I won't put you on the move. <laughs> maybe, that's maybe glazed oatmeal. Chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin. I'm not sure. That looks like it's got cinnamon toast crunch on there. Right. Let me grab y'all over here. What else do you need? Oatmeal, raisin, walnut, oatmeal, chocolate chip. And two chocolate chips. The next one looks like calla lilies antiques. Oh my goodness, y'all. I love pudding head. Y'all, look how pretty this room is. Kim, oh my vintage, this is for you. And I loved all the little bluebird figurines right here. Y'all, they are too cute. Look at this little red-breasted bluebird up there, darling. And y'all, look at this little birdhouse. The bluebirds at the top were the actual salt and pepper shakers. That is too darling. <laughs> that makes me giggle. <laughs> Well, there's my record player. Look, Christine. This is bigger than I thought. So I may have to put the shop along in two videos and then the haul later. I don't know, y'all. We'll just see how much footage I actually get. But this has been so much fun so far. 
Okay, y'all, so it was a big day shopping there at the Cookie Walk in downtown Rosenberg. It's an annual event and I can't wait to go back. I am gonna have to break this into two smaller videos or it would be like an hour long and that's just too long for a shop along and haul video for me. So let me show you what I got from the stores that you saw in this part of the shop along. The first store that I went into, Antiques Around the Corner, I don't know if I got their name in the video, but I picked up just two things in that store you know I couldn't leave him behind. And y'all, look at him. Now, he probably had a chain, or she probably had a chain of puppies or something, but look at that sad-eyed dog, y'all. It is marked Made in Japan, and there is some writing here that says, From Mom to Davis. But I just thought it was so super cute, and I couldn't leave her behind. The only other thing that I picked up in that store was this cute little pink and white hanky. It is just so dainty that I couldn't pass it up. So that's all I got from Antiques Around the Corner. Let's see what I got at another store. I believe that this is the barn door. Now this looks like a little Woodstock cookie cutter to me. At first I thought maybe it was like a Santa with a bag on his back, but the more I look at it, it kind of looks like Woodstock. What do you think? Leave me a comment below to let me know what you think this cookie cutter is. This and it's is the only item that I picked up from the barn door. Picked it up for about a dollar and it is gonna go on my cookie cutter tree, which you will see in my home decor tour. And then I went to Jay and Barb's Antiques. Here is the card for that. I will be filming a shop along in that store. I need to go quickly because they're having a sale, so I heard. But let me show you some of the things that I got in there. I did pick up all four of these tins, y'all. I could not help it. They are completely full. They were $4 each. This one is double chocolate cocoa, but I love the little Santa graphic on there. They have not been opened. This one is is butterscotch cocoa, but I love the reindeer. More reindeer is eggnog cocoa. And this one is candy cane cocoa. And it has the little L's. Now I was Marco Poloing with Dolores from Miss Damn Jewelry while I was shopping. And um, she actually wants the candy cane cocoa one. So I'll try to send that to her. And then I picked up some vintage Christmas cards for myself. And I love the little angel on this. Y'all, look how sweet she is. Does not have a date on there, but it says, May the three gifts of Christmas, faith and peace and good cheer, have a part in the pattern of your first new year. And another one says, I'm saying Merry Christmas as sweet as can be and hoping that you'll hang me upon the Christmas tree. Look how sweet that is. So I did pick this one up. I got another one that has, looks like the three wise men on there with the star of Bethlehem. And it has Matthew 2.2. 2. We have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Matthew 2.2. 2. Joy to you at Christmas and happiness throughout the year. Now this one is stamped Mr. and Mrs. Doug Chen. So this one was actually sent but I love the graphics on that. That is so, so pretty. Another little angel one, and I could not pass this one up. Look at all those cuties surrounding the baby Jesus right there, y'all. Isn't that so cute? And it says, still sounds the angel song in human ears. Still shines the magic star that guides and cheers. Still rules the manger king to love and bless, and may he grant you Christmas happiness. And it also has Luke 2, 10. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. And I loved that. And even on the back, y'all, there's a little shepherd and lamb there. So isn't that a darling little card? And I picked up one more. It just says, Merry Christmas on the front. The graphics are great. And it says, best wishes for a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So I picked these up for only a dollar a piece and I absolutely love them and will be staging these in my home this year around my Christmas trees. Okay, y'all, the last item that I picked up in this particular store, 
was for me, just me. And I can't wait to show you what it is. Y'all, it is a jeweled donkey brooch. How much do you love it? Oh my gosh, look. Now, if you don't know, I have this thing about donkeys. I love little donkey figurines. It's a term of endearment. I know, weird, right? But when I saw this little donkey jeweled brooch, I had to pick him up and I think he will be perfect. So the other place that you saw in this video that I went was Mrs. Claus Cookie Factory. And here is the card. Now y'all, she did her grand opening on the corner of the little um, area where all the antique shops are. And if you saw all of those cookies, mm, and they were so good. They're big, they're really big cookies and they're so soft and oh, they were just so good. So it has now become one of my favorite places to visit. So that's it y'all, that's all I got in this part of the shop along in downtown Rosenberg. This is the little area of town and we got a little brochure all about it. And I wanna say thank you to downtown Rosenberg for sponsoring this event. I can't wait to go next year. So y'all stay tuned because because there is another video coming out with the rest of the shop along and the rest of the things that I got when I shopped downtown Rosenberg for the cookie walk for Shop Small Saturday. If you like this kind of video where I take you along shopping and show you what I pick up, make sure that you give this a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow and I'd love for you to be part of my YouTube family. And don't forget, one last thing, click that notification bell to all notifications so you don't miss an uploaded video or a live event. Until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye. Okay, y'all, so I'm home and I just have to show you. This is from Mrs. Claus Cookie Company in Rosenberg, Texas. This one is an oatmeal iced cookie. These two are oatmeal raisin walnut this one is oatmeal chocolate chip. And would you look at these two ginormous chocolate chip cookies. Now they came out of the oven hot when I got there, but I think they'll eat the same when they're cold. What do you think? <music>